If you're mounting your extinguisher horizontally, shake the extinguisher while holding it in the horizontal position to evenly distribute the media inside. Then while making sure not to tip the extinguisher, balance it on a small narrow object to find the center of gravity for the extinguisher. If you're mounting it vertically, using two fingers, grab the extinguisher and rapidly move it back and forth while repositioning your grip to find the point where it does not swing and the extinguisher remains vertical when you change direction. Now that you've found the center of gravity for your extinguisher and the orientation it will be mounted in, make a small mark at that point. Measure two inches above and below this point and mark them as well. Carefully peel back roughly three quarters of an inch of the backing paper and wrap the sheet around the extinguisher while making sure to line up the ends with each other and in between the upper and lower marks that you created. Uh, starting on what will be the back side of the extinguisher uh, while it is in the mount, stick the end with the paper peeled back uh, to the extinguisher. Slowly continue making your way around it, uh, making sure not to get any air bubbles under the film. Um, lastly, install the band clamps on the extinguisher within, uh, with the inside edge of the clamp overlapping the protective uh, film by about an eighth of an inch or so. Uh, this will leave enough room for the extinguisher to be rotated out of the mount. Do not install the clamps so that they are right up against the mount when the extinguisher is installed though. Uh, this will make it difficult to remove and may result in uh, scratching on your uh, anodized finish on the clamps.